Okay, what we got today is a 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider, and the complaint that the owner of the car has is that when you open the trunk, you have a very strong gas vapor smell, and you do. Uh, we've had the trunk open for a couple weeks now, and you can still smell it on a regular basis. And so what we're gonna do first is fold down this panel. Now to give you access to all the, the recirculation system we've got here. Um, this is a one-way valve, and the best way to check this is to blow in the black end, and you should be able to blow into it, but when you pull it off, blow in the yellow end, and you should not be able to blow into it. That makes it a one-way valve. I'm just going to remove this and lay it out in the trunk so you can see it better. And it's just a, a 10 millimeter socket. So Out here. You can see how the hose work up, it kind of wraps around the top and then it hooks to this plastic tube. That's a pretty loose fitting and that may actually be where an issue is. It doesn't have a clamp from the factory. Um, this is the hose it hooks to. As you can see, it's a piece of hose, an adapter, and then we got another piece of hose, another one-way valve, and then it goes back down again and back around. And then it goes back up again. Why they stepped it so many times, I don't know. Um, we're going to put it back just like the way it was with all the same adapters in it. But we're going to use silicone hose rather than the cloth braided hose. Right, now to take the hoses off, I'm just going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. As you can see, when we pulled them off, one of them had this tube in it. We got to make sure that that goes back in the top when we put the the, the circulator back on. It's going to go back in the top too, so we got to remember to do that. To replace this hose here, which actually goes back to the tank, we got to come back here and pull this gasket off. And then that'll allow us to fold this side of the carpet down. You can see it goes through here and down to the tank, and it's just one clamp that holds it on. And take it off with a Phillips head screwdriver. And it runs through these little brackets right here. You can see someone's bent this one down. This one just bends over too. Pretty much it. That's the removal of our the two lines we're going to mess with replacing today. And uh, we're going to go cut the lines, make them like they're supposed to be, and I'll show you how to put them back in. Okay, we've made our hoses up. Um, this was pretty simple. It was just a straight hose. It's cut to the same length. I'm going to route it the same way the original one was, and I'm going to put a clamp back like the original was. This one was a little more work. <clears throat> Had to put the valves in it and the fittings. Um, when we put this back together, you have to make sure that this stays upright like so. You can't have it leaning over like that. It has to be, make sure it's upright, make sure it functions properly. All right, we're gonna use the, the clamps that we sell here, International Auto. The edge is already rolled over and they're not sharp like regular clamps are, so it won't cut the hose. Uh, it's probably just as best to install the clamp before you put the hose on, it makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> Rather than sliding over the length of the hose. Right, and then just snug your clamp up. You don't have to put it real tight. Matter of fact, don't put it tight because it'll cut the hose. That's good. All right, we're gonna mount the canister back. Before you mount it back, you wanna make sure you put this in first and it goes in the top. And put a clamp on. You don't have to put the clamp real tight. Matter of fact, you probably don't even have to put a clamp on it, but just to be on the safe side. 
And the reason you don't want to put it tight on here is this is plastic and you don't want to break that. And if you clamp it down too tight, it certainly would do that. All right. I'm going to put the bottom one on. Right here, I believe this is where our problem was. Um, the original hose did not have a very good connection on it. It came off real easy. And I, I think that's where the vapors were escaping. The silicone hose does fit a lot tighter. And hopefully that's going to solve the problem. And if it doesn't, I'll go back and put a small clamp on it. Or a zip tie. Make sure this positions itself properly. And that's it, we're done.